Close your eyes and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breath in the body. It may be in an unexpected place. Wherever that is, focus your attention there and try to make that part of the body as easeful and comfortable as possible. In other words, just try to see what kind of breathing is too long, what kind of breathing is too short, what feels just right for that part of the body. And don't try to squeeze that part of the body to emphasize the distinction between the in-breath and the out-breath. Just let them flow together. The mind needs a sense of ease in the present moment. Because you look at the world around you, what have you got? Well, there's aging, illness, and death. There's status, but then there's loss of status. There's gain and there's loss. There's praise, criticism, pleasure, pain. It's a mixed bag. If your happiness depends on a mixed bag like that, you never know what you're going to get out of the bag. And as we all know, the bag runs out after a while, and that's it. Then you go on to your next life. The Buddha has you reflect every morning as the sun rises. You could die today. All kinds of ways that people can die very easily without any prior notice. Are you ready to go? And when the sun sets, you could die tonight. Remember, think that. You could die tonight. Are you ready to go? And if you're not ready to go, in other words, what in the mind is latching on to something here in the present moment? What can you do about that attachment? What qualities of greed, aversion, and delusion do you have to work on so that you can go with a sense of confidence that you go to a good place? So you've got work to do right here. When the Buddha tells you to be in the present moment, it's not just because the present moment is a nice place. You have to make it a nice place so that you can be here comfortably, be here consistently with the breath. But you also realize in the present moment other things are going on in the mind, and that's where the work has to be focused. Do you see any lust coming up in your mind? Well, do something about it. Any anger coming up? Any greed? Any fear? Jealousy? Do something about these things so they don't lead you astray. And the best place from which to do that is this mind in the present moment with the breath, the sense of ease in the breath, so you don't feel threatened by these things, so you don't feel pushed around by these other things, that you can deal with them with confidence and step away from them. Because all too often we identify with our greed, aversion, and delusion. We think that if we were to let go of that, we'd be cutting off part of us. Well, maybe it's a part that should be cut off. You know? The best way to cut it off is first not to identify with it. See it as something separate. The greed's there, but the awareness of the greed is something else. The anger is there, but the awareness of the anger is something else. Try to keep these things separated in your mind, and it's a lot easier to let go of the things that you've been carrying around for so long but are just full of garbage. They don't lead to any real happiness at all. So we come to the present moment to make it a good moment, and then from there we work on the parts of the moment that are not good inside. So we've been becoming from a position of strength. And if it does happen, okay, this is the day, okay, you're ready to go. You've done what can be done. Don't go with a sense of unfinished business or of, of missed opportunities. You don't want that weighing down your mind. <laughs>